Hi, everyone. I would like to call the meeting to order. Welcome, everyone, on Zoom, and welcome to everyone who's here in person. So good to see you all. Um, roll call, please. Chair LaFlynn. Here. Member Chavez. Here. Member Garcia. Here. Member Hart. Here. Member Rutledge. Here. And Member Selman. Here. Fantastic, 100% attendance, wonderful. Um, I move to approve the minutes from the regular ad hoc fine arts committee, which was held on Tuesday, March 22nd. Second. Thank you. Um, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That motion passes. Um, do we have any public comment? No. Okay, wonderful. So for my remarks, basically I'm just gonna say, we're just going to dive right in and give an update of where we are in an overview, sort of a, you know, zoom out, give you a bird's eye view, um, and then check in with everyone, see how you're going, how it's going for you. Um, but we are, hi guys, <laughs> no worries. This is the better meeting, just FYI. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I promise. Um, Worst decision you'll make all day. Um, so everything is just going fantastic. We're so excited. Um, we gave a little bit of a preview today during the full board meeting. Um, we're right on schedule. And next, we're really, we have our media plan in place and that's gonna be kicked off. It was wonderful to see the press release today, making everything all real. Um, and then we're gonna be filling everyone in um, on that media plan because you're all gonna be involved. Everyone's gonna participate in that. And it's just, it's going gangbusters. That's what I would say. I think that's the official term, gangbusters. <laughs> that's how it's going. Um, so let's start by going around and everyone checking in from our different, um, districts and that would start with district one member selman um so i'm the food working group so i've been working a lot with jim um the latest food truck i booked i just wanted to pull it up really quick because the, the one i was most excited about was really hoping would be available um it's aunt tina sound bites and so they do, their whole mission is this marriage between like food and culture and music. So they were kind of meant to come find us. Um, their owner is from Roselle too, which I love, part of district one. Um, and they're just really thrilled that they're available and can participate and we're available. So they have all sorts of like soul food is really their menu. So Perfect. bring your stretchy pants. We're all eating. <laughs> <food. laughs> um, and so Jim and I are just looking to sort of fill in to make sure we have variety. I think right now we have plenty of food, plenty of beverage. We just want to make sure there's some variety. So if people are doing the full day, they can you know, sample a whole bunch of food along with a whole bunch of different parts. So yes. oh, wow. that's awesome. Thank you so much, Member Selman. I appreciate this. We're going to have just um, jumping in to speak about a gourmet food trucks. So come hungry. Okay, Member Garcia, I'm glad that you could join us. And could you have updates for us? Yeah, the, the only update that I have, I kind of had some medical issues where I was kind of out for a while, but I was able to market to three Chamber of Commerce. That would be Downers Grove, um, Lyle, and then also Lombard. So trying to, to uh, get the information, get the word out in terms of that. I know some of the food trucks, I know that member Selman said some of them were held over from last last time. So I know I worked on some of those last summer. So I hope some of those, I don't know what the whole food list truck is. So maybe you can share that with me and let me know exactly where you're at in terms sure. of who the food lists are. That'll be perfect. So that's where I'm at in District 2. Great. Right. Are you doing, are you soliciting for sponsorships and donations? You know, I am actually not. I am actually uncomfortable as an elected official going out and looking for sponsorships. That's just something personally I feel that I, I just don't feel a very comfortable going out and asking for sponsorships as an elected official. So. Great. Okay, moving on. Let's go to District 3 and Member Greg Hart. Yeah, so I look forward to sharing the press release with uh, representatives in my district, Chambers of Commerce, I think is a great idea. I also do, like I said at the last meeting, have a uh, meeting this week with the business owner in District 3 about a potential $5,000 sponsorship. So. That's wonderful. Okay, thank you so much. Um, my update, let's see. We've gotten several pledges. I'm working very closely with Greg Bedeloff. I think Greg is zooming in. Thank you, Jason. Sorry. No worries that my computer is acting up. Um, and so we've gotten several big um, pledges, which we are thrilled about, and hopefully we'll be able to announce soon when those pledges are completed. So that's the big exciting news there. Um, and then moving on to District 5 and Member Chavez. Hi, so thank you. Um, 
So I kind of cover the VIP night. So I've been working with Beth um, Marchetti at the DCVB to make sure that we have things in line for that night. Jim, I need to follow up with you now that I'm back from spring break to make sure we've got everything going for the food and beverage. So I've got that on my list to follow up with you when I leave here today. Um, and then I've got one potential sponsor in Naperville. So Fantastic. I just need to follow up with them and see whether or not that one's going to come through. And I think we're in a good spot though. I do too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Member Rutledge, District Thank 6. You. Yes. Um, so we did get the small donation from Gelser. Great. Wonderful. Um, which will get them a couple of tickets to the VIP event. I just got an email from Newmark Credit Union, previously North Star Credit Union. Mm -hmm. Awesome community partners. They said they're definitely in. He just wants to, uh, um, oh, and I pulled his email um, to see what they can budget. So I don't know yet, but they are in as a sponsor. Wonderful. Um, I did want to, I, I did get a contact from Julie Mars, the Addison Center for the Arts. And actually I worked with her at Art Van Furniture. She's a, an interior designer as well. And she had concerns I tried to alleviate about the, the horseshoe. She didn't mm -hmm. think that her um, people were... Like we are concerned they are open to the elements. You know what, you know what, Shilo? Well, we can talk about some of that later okay. if, you, if you want me to have I'm just, If yes, you would like to, me to talk for her, I, to talk with her, I would love to. Well, she did say she would come and that they would plan for next year, but I'd like to try to move her, move the document yeah, here. Yeah, sure, sure. And I, I'm happy to talk with her. Just send her my way. Um, for sure. We'll do. Um, and another one that I just meant to just today, I talked to the executive director of NAMI DuPage and they are on board. So that's nice. going to be wonderful. So they're going to have a booth. They're going to highlight because obviously art therapy plays a huge role in mental health. So she's going to, we're going to have a booth for them. They're going to be able to talk about their program, about everything that they do and provide in DuPage County and highlight art therapy. So I'm very excited about that. So that was an addition that just came through today. Um, okay, well, thank you everyone, all, everyone who's been working and partnering up. This is a fantastic group effort and I'm thrilled about it. I just kind of wanted to go through this, the schedule is done. So I'm going to, if everyone takes a deep breath, I'm going to be um, member Pachalski right now and read 3000 things really fast without taking a breath. So, um, but this is how the lineup looks. So I just want to give you like a, like I said, a bird's eye overview. Um, my advice is to take a nap the day before, go to bed early, stretch before you arrive, limber up because it's going to be a doozy. So we start at 10 a.m. and it goes all the way to 11 p.m. And we're starting, we're keeping it family friendly at the beginning. And Ralph, Ralph's World is going to be playing Grammy winning. I know, Joan, I heard that. Me too. Ralph <laughs> Covert, shout out to Ralph. Um, so he's going to be kicking it off with Ralph's World on the main stage. And then we're going to have some chamber music in the horseshoe area. And um, all wonderful and very family friendly. And we go on to, I'll start with the main stage first. Then we have the Roadshow Incorporated, which is a traveling show choir that's based in Naperville. So um, wonderful high school students that are going to be able to perform in front of a really large crowd. Then we move to some Latin fuse, fusion, and that is Son Monarques. And they're going to do a musical telling of migration and ties into immigration using the monarch butterfly. And they're going to have music and dance and um, authentic costumes. And they're going to be teaching dance. So also, that's why you had to limber up, right? I, and I, I look at me, member heart. I'm going to be expecting you there, right? And cutting a rug with your no little girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I want to show hands. Who wants to see it? Oh, it's unanimous. Thank you. It passes. Um, so that's going to be going on there. And then they also move into the, the same organization that does Nahui Olin, which is going to be the dancing. So real um, authentic Aztec dancing and costumes. Um, then we have an African tr trio and Senegal drummers. They're also going to be incorporating dance into that and teaching kids. And so all extremely interactive at this point. We've got the Chicago Jazz Academy. That's the one I think I talked about it at our last meeting where they wrote a composition. Um, the, the directive was to 
make it write a composition based on um, social justice. So they made a musical telling of Nina Simone's life. And it was set to be premiered at Carnegie Hall, but COVID changed those plans. So they are premiering here, which is just unbelievable. They're also going to do um, an improv 101 for kids. So to teach kids how to do that. Then we go to a group called Vital Signs, and they're filled with a lot of um, local doctors. That's why they're called Vital Signs. Get it? So that's a really good, we're trying to highlight all levels of performance from children up to the high level professionals and some people in between. And then our headliners from the main stage will be Orbert Davis Quintet. He is going to be doing a performance of Soul Migration that was premiered at Millennium Park. And it tells the story of the great American migration north of the African-American community where 6 million people migrated from the south to the northern urban areas. Um, the great jazz singer Maggie Brown will be joining them. And that's going to be an amazing performance. The evening ends with Jim Peterick and the Ides of March. And they are going to be going, they're hitting the stage at 9 o'clock, going till 11. Yes, you're very excited, aren't you, Jason? Um, and that's, so that's a jam packed from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Just, guys, that's just one, one stage. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's go to the next stage. We're starting there with some chamber music. This is going to be a little bit of the quieter, more intimate performances. Um, we're starting with the um, chamber music and then DuPage Symphony is gonna be having a woodwind quartet, quintet, excuse me. Music Institute of Chicago, their Wheaton outpost. So that's under the, the um, direction of the Music Institute of Chicago, and they have a DuPage studio, and they're going to, they're virtuoso strings, and they're going to be giving a phenomenal performance. How do I know it's phenomenal? Um, let's just say I know some of the violinists. That's all I'll say about that. It's not me. Um, and then we've got more DuPage Symphony Orchestra, a trombone ensemble, and then we've got a duo for violin and piano from the Elmhurst Symphony. And then the headliner on this stage at the end of the day is going to be Muriel Anderson. She, is, she won the National Guitar Picking Competition and she's doing a multimedia um, approach. So she's gonna have uh, screens behind her telling the story and then the music is going to be explaining everything that's happening on the screen. And um, she's going to definitely be highlighting DuPage County. She lives out east now, but grew up here in Downers Grove. So this is a homecoming for her. And um, we cannot wait to welcome her back and watch this beautiful performance. It's stunning, stunning. Then we go over to what we're affectionately calling right now the beer tent stage, but that's just because it's, guess where it's near? The beer tent, that's all. <laughs> We're starting with the Tim Stop Band. And then Ralph Covert is doing double duty. He's coming and he's leaving Ralph's world. And then in the process of going from one stage to the other, he becomes his you know, adult rock band. So that's Ralph Covert and the Bad Examples. And then we've got the DuPage Symphony Orchestra Zazz. It's their jazz ensemble. They're gonna be performing. And then we have Oh What a Night, that's the Frankie Valley Tribute Band that's going to be performing. And that's also some of the, um, it's the a new arts academy that they're looking to open in DuPage Symphony. This is the director of that, and this is his group. So we're trying to help um, highlight them and draw attention to his arts initiative that he's putting forth for um, the schools in, in DuPage County. So that is, and that's just music because then we've also got visual artists. So they're going to be lined up in the um, horseshoes, you know. Uh, Louis Aschenbach, he was, here, he was here last time we talked about him. He does live painting. So what that means is you watch him paint. And he loves to paint musicians. So he paints during concerts. So he'll capture, he tries to capture jazz, capture different performers. Um, and so he's going to be painting throughout the, the day and then also having a booth. I also forgot, excuse me, please, um, Old Town School of Music are going to be having some, Old Town School of Folk Music are going to be having some performers as well, interspersed throughout on the different three stages. So we're waiting on their names to be completely confirmed, but trust me, we have acts from them as well because they've been wonderful partners through this. So in addition to, um, let's see, Lou, we've got George Berlin who does really interesting multimedia sort of art and he's going to be having booths there as well and we're going to have all the different arts organizations who are involved and who are performing there so they can um, 
We can learn more about their organizations. They can do things like find out when the auditions are for the Anima Children's Choir, find out how to become a part of um, different, if you want to be a, a subscribe to the DuPage Symphony Orchestra or get tickets to Elmhurst Symphony. We're going to make sure that they are all there with a booth and they can present as well. Um, Care Center is also going to be highlighting and, and selling some of their art that their residents created. And again, um, a great opportunity for people to engage with them and see what they're all about. Just like what I explained how NAMI is going to do that as well. Um, gourmet food trucks, beer and wine. And I think that is pretty much like, I, I think that's about it. Jim, have I missed anything here? Oh, you're muted. <laughs> Unmute, Jim. Uh, we are in uh, good shape. We have uh, all the things needed for the grounds as far as stages, sound, tents. We're all set there. We'll be all of our applications, permits are in at the city. Uh, I'm on board to be there this Thursday evening for their liquor commission and get that approval. And then on Monday, we get the final approval for the event. These are all just processes we go through, uh, but everything's in place. We're all in good shape. And uh, we could use a couple more artists for the booth, uh, but besides that, uh, I think food were covered. Um, one or two more wouldn't hurt us, but uh, I think we're in very good shape to have a great event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, Jim. And our VIP event, that's the night before, that's for our sponsors and our donors and the elected officials who are um, putting this together is all taken care of and fantastic um, and also very exciting. So we're set on all those levels as well. Um, Okay. Member of the plant, can I ask a question maybe for Jim McGuire? Could you give us a idea? This is Greg, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, the, can you give us an idea of the layout between the main, for those of us who haven't been on the tour of the fairgrounds yet, the, where the main stage is going to be located and how far away the ancillary stage is going to be? Um, I've had some people ask me about sound bleed over and that type of stuff. So can you kind of put all, all of our minds at ease in terms of how that's going to lay out? Yep, there's three stages. Uh, the main stage is in the northwest corner near the Butterfly Garden. Uh, and that sets uh, on the very north, furthest north of all the stages. Then in the middle of the horseshoe, we'll have another stage that's inside of a tent, uh, inside the middle of the horseshoe market square area. And then the third tent will be in the southeast corner of the art festival grounds. And again, that one will be in a tent, uh, which we call the beer tent. Uh, so that's located down in that area. We have had several events with that same type of layout. Uh, there is no bleed over. Uh, the events are able to uh, all stand alone and the sound does not move from one to the other. We'll be in good shape there. And it creates a nice movement of flow of people through the festival area so that folks are going to be uh, going to our vendors, the food vendors and also to the artisans who are there selling their works. So it has a nice flow from one end to the other. It's a straight line across. And then one other question, Chair LaPlante, um, that you and I even, haven't even had a chance to discuss in detail. How are we doing in terms of, uh, we made a decision on wristbands and entry and re-entry and the number of volunteers that we may need to man points of entrance and exits and selling of the beer and that type of stuff. Do we need more volunteers or are we good there? Um, uh, just, I'm sorry, go ahead, Jim. Do you want to take that? Yep, I can take the selling of the beer and the wristbanding for that. Uh, the DuPage County uh, Fair Association will handle that operation. Uh, they're all Bassett trained. They're all approved by the city. We've all gone through the police training for that and we'll handle that space for us. As far as the ticketing, that's something we still have to work out some details, get a scheduling in, but we have time to do that as far as how we're doing ticket sales. We have the booths ready to go to be set into location, uh, but that's something we do have to tune in. Staffing-wise, uh, I have staffing planned for both the parking and the grounds maintenance and CERT uh, from Milton Township. They will be uh, helping us uh, with some security on the grounds. 
We will have Wheaton police at the beer tent area at the point of sale. And we will also have uh, a few private security on grounds during the event uh, moving around and one overnight security on grounds uh, to keep an eye on things from Friday into Saturday for all the vendors and all the things that are on grounds and equipment. And Jim, how will the charge, is there going to be a charge from the Wheaton police to the association, to the event? It, to comes, through the, it comes through the event. It's part of the ordinance on uh, special event uh, liquor sales. Uh, okay. There are two officers that are charged, and that is in the, the budget to cover those. And that will be on Saturday only from the time we open. Well, from the time the beer tent opens was at noon uh, to 11 o'clock. Two officers will be on site. And then, uh, Greg, to answer your question about wristbands, we Beth Marchetti came up with the idea. She's having a stamp created, and she's going to do something clever, like in the shape of our of the county or something like that. So there, it, there will be re-entry, and it's just going to be a stamp, not a wristband. The wristband will only be for the alcohol sales for IDing purposes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, does anyone else have any questions about this? And I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I wanted to say. I think I've, I've covered everything I wanted to. Does anyone else have anything that they would like to add? Any questions? Yeah, this is Mark Ingram. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mark. How are you? Uh, I think it's time that Jim and I get together, right, to start talking about production. Sure. Yep. Uh, Jim, I did send you an email, but it's probably going to your junk because you don't get emails from me. <laughs> but uh, um, so whenever you want to do that, if you want to do a Zoom call with with uh, with uh, Chairwoman LaPlante, you and, and, and my team, I'm ready when you are. Very good. I'm uh, pretty much in my office, 7.30 to 4, Monday through Friday. So I'm around. Uh, you can either, you know, uh, and maybe we want to get the sound guy in, involved in that as well. Um, so let's talk about that, and then we can put something together as far as scheduling. Okay. And then the other question I have is, uh, as far as credentials for the day of, is, is there, is there for one, is there a uniform? Like, you know, we all wear the same shirt, or there's special uh, all-access credentials for staff, or what's that going to look like? Well, of course, I love the idea of a uniform. Let me go wild with that, Mark. Um, <laughs> you know, we were kind of talking about that. There are, I do know that there are polos that are that are DuPage County polos. Um, we did kind of toy with the idea of maybe t-shirts or something like that. So um, we're going to look into that a little bit more and, and talk, um, and I'll, that's, but you raise a great point, so we can discuss that. And um, Jim, can you speak to the all access credentials? Uh, that's something we can do. Uh, we want to produce something like that. That's something we can do in a lanyard. Uh, okay. We have not discussed that yet, but that's something we can do for committee or however you want to break that down. Uh, that is something that's that's out there that we can do. Yeah, there's really yeah. not going to be many people who need that, Mark. Probably you and Roger, you know what I mean? So, but I'm happy to to get that and make sure that you guys have, have what you need. So um, let's maybe set something up for next week, if that's possible. Okay. Uh, Mark, and you and I can talk about that, but this is, we're, it's, it's time, we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. it's time, yes. Fantastic, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Um, anyone else? Okay, then um, let's move on, any old business? nothing new business we just covered every single piece of new business um, Lynn, then, yes. Lynn, the yes. one other committee that we should get together is the vip we're, just we're, we're, that we're, night when we uh once i get the proposals back as far as the appetizer all the thing just so that yes. we can tune that one in to know exactly how we're handling that yes exactly so you um greg myself and member chavez are going to do that next week for sure cool. Right, so that's yeah. our, that work group, we will get together and um, tackle that and, you know, everything for next week. And then we're right on, right, right on track. Yeah, Very I'm good. glad, I'm glad uh, Jim mentioned that because I did, I forgot to ask about the VIP production for that as well, since we have a performers for that. Right. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll loop you into that as well, of course, Mark. And maybe Roger, if he, if he is, you know, wants to as well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, okay. 
seeing no other questions, I think we're good. Then um, I move to adjourn the meeting. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. This meeting is adjourned. We'll talk soon, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, Lynn. Bye now. Bye.